Greetings. It's been a while, but I'm back. And of course, now that I'm back, I'm going to talk about an issue that's not necessarily weird, but this particular situation is. And it's the kind of thing where we need to kind of look out for things like this because folks are trying to take advantage of us in some way. But it also talks about beauty standards and how people see, well, members of their own sex or opposite sex, whoever they're attracted to or whatever attracts them, don't always have the exact same thoughts about folks. So, like I said, it's gonna be a little weird. I'm gonna show you this picture and see how good I can get this up here. So you see this woman here, stunning. I thought when I saw this picture on Instagram that she was perfect. A little bit too perfect, but perfect. And then I looked at a couple of other pictures and all of them were perfect. And you know, the thing is that even on Instagram where you know that you know people have different kind of filters here and there, you're thinking, but you know, they can't all be that perfect. So that particular picture, it had these things underneath. One said model, hashtags by the way, model, modeling, face app, CD, Indian model, cross dresser, cross dressing, and virtual influencer. Now those are, <laughs> that's kind of a strange combination. You know, face app, I wasn't sure what that is. Cross dresser, I'm like, no, nah, I don't think so. And then cross dressing and then virtual influencer. So I said, no, this can't be real. And it's got a name on here. So I said, you know, let me go check this out on Google. So I go on Google, search for the name. It comes up twice because there's an account that's on Instagram, which is where I saw it. And then there's an account on Facebook. So I go to a Facebook and I look at it and there's one picture. And I said, nah, something, something ain't right here. Now, I am not necessarily the authority on pictures and total beauty. You know, I go through Instagram. I see attractive women sometimes and it's like, okay, let me take a better look. Cause you know, you have that page, you see the real small. So I take a better look and then I'm good with it. But I have my friend Kelvin, he's a professional photographer. He was president of the Photographer Society. So I sent him this picture. And I said, dude, I'm not sure that this is a real person. And I tell him the research I did and whatever. And I said, and look how perfect she looks. So he writes me back and he says, well, you know, she's really attractive. I'm not sure that I would say she was perfect. I said, okay, but you're kind of missing the thing. I don't think she's real. I just had this feeling with everything I've done that she's not real. He says, well, she looks real to me. And then he goes on Instagram and he sees the other pictures. And he says, you know, she's very attractive. She does kind of look similar, but I think she's real. I said, dude, I, I don't know. I'm thinking she's not. So I let it go and I move on. The next day he sends me an email and the email says, I hate to admit this, but. <laughs> so he sends me this picture, same model. along with this picture. This is the real model. Her name is Julia R-O-E-M-M-E-L-T. I don't know how to pronounce that. I just know it's German. So in essence, it is a fake. This one here, the perfect looking one, it's a fake. And now that I know it's a fake, I take the image and I upload it to Google Images and it shows a whole bunch of the exact same type of thing and sometimes it shows you an exact picture of someone else's face wearing the exact same clothes in the exact same pose as her wow so the only things i know is that someone in india put this together and they're basically telling you this ain't real this image has a TikTok account, but there's only one video and it's like maybe five or 10 seconds long and that's it. And here's the thing, you know, my friend Holly, I'm calling people out today. You know, I'm not calling them. I'm just mentioning them. 
she had highlighted maybe three or four months ago a whole bunch of images on LinkedIn that were fake. They were, you know, they had fake accounts. It didn't really say anything, but the pictures were fake. I don't know how she found out. Matter of fact, I never even thought much about it. But when you're looking at the pictures, you're like, yeah, you know what? They all kind of had this kind of frozen face. And, you know, I'll say it this way. They all looked Anglo, but they all had Indian names. <laughs> and their profiles basically had, you know, if you're not on LinkedIn or if you are, you'll notice that you'll have the name and then it'll say what you do. And then you basically can fill out all the other information. None of the accounts had filled out any other in information. They all had some kind of job and then that was it. And that's suspect. And, you know, even my friend Kelvin had someone basically steal his picture and create a new profile. But see, at least that's a real person. Yeah, he's real. But all these other fakes. And I don't understand why that's done. I mean, what could be the benefit of creating fake accounts using fake images of people who look indirectly perfect? And these were males and females. So it wasn't just anyone trying to, you know, aim at one crowd. But, you know, it's more proof that sometimes pictures you see of people on a place like Instagram or TikTok, or if there's any of those other services, because you know what, I really can't remember the name of any other service. I see there's Reels, but that's part of Instagram. I think there's some other thing that begins with a T, but I can't think of it right now. But you can't always trust what you see in an image. However, when you can trust the images that you see, it's also kind of amazing because like I said, I thought she looked perfect. He didn't think she looked perfect. He said, she's, she's very good looking, but I don't think she looks perfect. And that's one of those other things that comes into play. You know, all of us understand who we're attracted to or what kind of person we're attracted to, what that person kind of looks like. And it's a lucky thing for us that we're not all attracted to the same person look or the same type of person because you know we would be a whole lot of fighting going on for that one person you know i wouldn't mind if you know million women looked at my face and said hey that guy, that's a good looking guy and they were all fighting over me okay i don't want them to fight but still you know the idea basically says that i doubt there's a hundred people in the world and i'll even just put that out there who will say i don't care I don't need people fawning over me. And I bet it's people who have people fawning over them who say that. But, you know, the standards of beauty, like I said, they're different for everybody. I'm not going to sit here and tell you the kind of thing that I look for. What I will say is that I have my standards for, well, like I said, I thought this was a perfect looking woman. It just didn't look, you know, real and right or whatever. But I have different versions of attraction. You know, um, it doesn't necessarily matter. It doesn't matter at all what someone's background is. That doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what hair color. It doesn't necessarily matter that it has to be really long hair or really short hair. I will admit to probably being more attracted to a woman that has hair. I'm sorry, that's just me. You know, that's what I grew up with. I didn't grow up with women who didn't have hair. So it's something that's a little, you know, different to get used to. But I have seen some really attractive women on Instagram who don't have hair. So there's an appeal there. Would I go further than that? I probably doubt it, but it happens. And one of those kind of things that I thought was fascinating when I was thinking about this conversation with Kelvin, where I said, you know, I think this woman kind of looks perfect and he didn't see it that way. But as a photographer, he sees certain things in women and sometimes he'll share a picture with me and I'll think, okay, she's okay, but you know, I'm not necessarily seeing the appeal. Sometimes I tell him that, sometimes I just write back and say, okay, she's attractive because, you know, as a photographer, he's going to be looking at something totally different than I am. And the thing is that that's something that we can do with each other. I think we've known each other a little over 20 years now, so, you know, that's pretty cool. But I have seen people say nasty things about women on Instagram. 
when I was still on Twitter, I might be getting back to Twitter because I have a feeling Elon's not going to have to buy Twitter so I can go back. But I've seen some things that people have said about women. Like, really? Where'd you get that from? There was this thing. Well, heck, there's a lot of people dumping on Lizzo. Lizzo's got a cute face. Lizzo can sing. I'm not going to say that Lizzo would be my type, but that's not an ugly woman. There is this uh, ad for one of the clothing companies. Maybe it was Abercrombie and Finch, although I can't really know. Where they put up pictures of different types of women of different sizes. And a lot of people zeroed in on this one lady because she was a bit overweight. And they were saying some of the nastiest things. And I'm thinking, you know, y'all, that's uncalled for. She may not be your type, but she's going to be someone's type. And she obviously had enough confidence to wear that. And confidence can attract a lot of people. And I just thought, wow, you know, everyone doesn't have to meet whatever your standard is. Everyone doesn't have to meet my standard. Everyone has their standards and everyone will find someone who's attracted to them. And hopefully they'll have some kind of relationship. I'm at a point now at my age and some of my predilections that I'm thinking that's probably not going to happen for me, but it might, you know, maybe I'll meet a, 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 30 year old who's interested in a 63 year old guy. I don't know. <laughs> Anyhow, I shared some pictures with you. I shared some thoughts. What do you think of this? You know, this fake, there's more of them on YouTube, more of them on Twitter, on Instagram, on Facebook, fake accounts, whatever. I don't really understand why someone needs to make a perfect image of someone. And by the way, just to throw this out there, there's another woman on Instagram. I've come across the videos where she's got this pure, very light white skin and these gigantic blue eyes and the blonde hair. But supposedly she's in India and you never get a real voice out of it. And the videos are all super short. And I know that's a fake but it doesn't list the same hashtags that this picture does. You know, if, however they can get you, however they can rope you in and hopefully maybe sell stuff to you. Is that, is that the right thing to do? I don't know. Y'all let me know. Like I said, a little different, but then again, you know, if I did the exact same thing every single time, what kind of fun would that be? Anyway, my name's Mitch Mitchell. Y'all let me know what you think. Let me know if you've seen things like this. And I will talk to you the next time I'm back, which we'll find out when that is. <laughs> Y'all take care.